us for so many winters and still inspire those with faith in their heart and gold in their eyes. It's been a long road Getting from there to here It's been a long time But my time is finally here And I can feel the change in the wind right now Nothing's in my way And they're not Stewart just sang it is a long road and for many skaters here at these championships it ends right here in Ottawa with the Nationals and for the elite skaters the road continues to the world championships to be held in Helsinki Finland in late March this is what the Canadian team will consist of these are the spots they're shooting for the women's champion will go to the world championships two men two pairs teams two dance teams but just making it on the national team is a goal for some you get increased funding you get a chance to wear the maple leaf at a few more international assignments throughout the season lots to talk about a lot of stories here over the next four days we have 10 hours of coverage here on ctv we have two hours tonight the pairs and the men's short programs ahead now talking about the pairs everyone is talking about jamie soleil and david pelche a new partnership up against the defending champions christy Sargent and chris Wirtz. as you will find out a little bit later on it is a whole new game for Saleh and pelche and the biggest question here in ottawa how's elvis elvis stoiko of course suffered a groin injury a year ago at the national championships he re-aggravated it on his way to nagano japan he had that gutsy silver medal he spent some time away from the ice, had a couple of assignments this season. He says he's still not 100%, but he says he's getting better by the day. He had a smile on his face on Tuesday morning under the snowflakes. He received the meritorious service cross from Governor General Romeo LeBlanc. Oh, well, this is quite the, uh, quite the honor. Um, receiving, I knew I had received this earlier, and uh, we were just trying to find the right time, I guess, for the ceremony. Now Elvis is trying to add a fifth national championship to the four he's already won. He'll start it tonight. He has a brand new short program. He will unveil that. But don't forget about the rest of the men. Young Emmanuel Sandu, Jeff Langdon, Jason Danome. They're shooting for that very elusive second spot towards the world. More on the men later. We'll have the pairs upcoming in a moment. Let's go backstage and introduce you to our two reporters backstage, Tracy Wilson, who will be interviewing the skaters, and Debbie Wilkes. And we'll start with Debbie with more on Elvis Stoiko. Elvis is certainly the skater we are all watching here in practice. We are counting not only the times he is successful in jumps, but more importantly, the times he is not. An attempted quad there, and he is facing more of the quad squad. Other skaters here in Ottawa trying to perform it. Everyone in his camp is concerned, but he's putting on a brave game face. Uh, I've been feeling really good. I had to break in new skates as well the last month, which has also kind of pulled me back a little bit on my training time. But overall, uh, 
this week has been good. Get here, kind of progress, start off a little slow, and then build up for the rest of the week. How's your leg feel? Feels great. Yeah, half the time I even forget that, uh, that I had an injury, so it's, it's pretty good. I'll have the full report on Elvis's injury update later on in the show. In the meantime, let's go to Tracy Wilson. Thanks, Debbie. In the pairs event, the 1997 Canadian champions Marie-Claude Savard-Gagnon and Luc Bredet will be noticeable by their absence in this event. The official word is injury. Luc has been hampered by a bad back all year. Many people at this competition, though, are speculating that this might mark the end to their competitive skating career. I talked to their coach, Paul Martini. He said that their future is still undecided. Whatever they choose, we at CTV wish them all the best. Now let's go to ringside and join Rod Black and Barb Underhill. Nice to have Tracy Wilson back with us. She won one of her dance titles here in Ottawa. This has been a very good building for you, Barb. Mm -hmm. Our very first Canadian Championship, Senior Canadian Championship, we won here in our world, world title. It's a great building. <laughs> now will it be a great building for one of these pairs teams out here? We have a battle between the defending champions and these up-and-comers, Sally and Pelshek. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting time for pair skating in Canada. The first time in a long time that I've been this excited. The only thing that, that could be better would be if Luke and Mary Claude were here to make it a three-way battle. However, it's going to be a very exciting two-way battle. Chris and Christy, last year's Canadian Championships, are skating better than ever. They've risen to a whole new level. They're ranked sixth in the world. You would think that they could walk away with this. However, the brand new team of Sally and Pelletier are going to make it very, very difficult for them. They're going to put a tremendous amount of pressure on them. They have come together in seven short months and have just surprised the skating world. Two minutes and 40 seconds of music in the pair short program. Nine members on the judging panel. And look at the elements. And what's new this year? It's this element right here. The throw drum. That replaces the step sequence this year. As always, the most critical el element here is the side-by-side -side triple jump. That makes or breaks the program. Here's who we'll show you tonight at the Civic Center. Jamie Soleil, David Pelche first, followed by Nadia McAuliffe and Bruno Marcotte, Valerie Surrett, and so John Sebastian Fecteau, and then Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz. But all eyes are on Saleh and Pelche. We talk of them as a new team, but in fact, they had previous partners. Jamie once went to the Olympics with Jason Turner. David Pelche went to the Worlds with Allison Gaylor. Now they're together. Here's Tracy. Canadian pair that has been turning heads on the world scene all year is the new team of Jamie Saleh and David Peltier. Just a year ago, Jamie was a single skater in Alberta looking for a partner. She made the trek east last spring to join with David. Together they have had instant success. They've made it all look so easy. Richard Gauthier realized their weakness and tackled it immediately. The first thing you really have to work on is the communication skills. Very often you put them together by it's the talent that you put together. But do they have the skills to be able to communicate together? The personality might not fit together. When I got there to Richard, I, I was not exactly the same person as I am now. You know, I had a lot of frustration inside me from a couple of uh, bad years. And what he heard about me was not so good. I think his biggest work was not to show me how to do my double axle or anything. It was how to show how to control my emotions and how to uh, make them work for me and not against me. It took a while, though, for both of us to, to work at that. Dave really worked hard at it, though. I mean, it was very difficult when we were doing certain elements that we knew we could do. And in the beginning, if we missed it, it was devastating. Like, the end of the world, you know? But now it's like we laugh at each other's mistakes. I fall on a throw, he laughs, or he's like, well, what's wrong with you? He said, you know, he has a joke. They credit their coach 100% for keeping them on track. <laughs> I'd like in the triple. Oh, up there. With two bronze medals.
medals in their pocket this season, Jamie and David have learned that success comes easily when you're having fun. What you show on the ice is obviously what it is a bit of the ice. And if we don't respect each other, and which I think is the most important thing, she respects my life, I respect her life. And if the respect is there, I don't think we'll never have a problem about communication. Well, the key word is communication. Uh, as a former Canadian champion and world champion, you knew what Paul did, Paul knew what you did. It's everything. It is absolutely everything. Jamie was born to be a pair skater, and now I believe she has found her perfect match. Our next competitors, representing Alberta, Jamie Salé and David Peltier. It has been seven months of incredible ascent. Two bronze medals on the Grand Prix series. Third place at Skate Canada was their arrival. And who knows what awaits this brand new partnership. <laughs> together here because here is the throw nails it there isn't a pair team in the world that that has this kind of ability to perform under pressure it's so great to see so often you see teams so stressed out in competition They have an electrifying presence on the ice. They have style, they have flair, but tonight they did not have the side-by-side -side triple jumps. How much will that cost them? The judges and their marks when we come back to Ottawa. Jamie Soleil from Red Deer, Alberta. David Pelcher from Boucherville, Quebec. Here's a look at the double twist. Stop right there. Oh, she gets good height on the twist and a great catch. 
He sets her down very gently. What happened here? Now watch Jamie on the landing. She doesn't quite get enough height here to get everything in, but you can see right there, she gets that free foot caught. Keep going, and that pulls her down. But every other element was solid, and the performance was just Thanks unbelievable. <laughs> they, they're sitting right beside us. They can hear everything I'm saying. <laughs> oh, boy. I think you better start whispering. Here are the required five, two, elements, Marks, five, two, for Sally and Helke. They're looking at a point three deduction there on the jump for the fall. The Marks for presentation. They're going to come way up, and they do. Way, way up. Aspiring to become five, national five, champions five, five, six, five, in a brand eight. new partnership. <laughs> we'll see. This was the fifth ranked team in Canada a year ago. This is Nadia McAuliffe and Bruno Marcotte. And they say that their pattern has generally been that they have a poor short program but fight back in the long key to this as with most teams is a side-by-side -side jump which nadia struggled with they open with the double twist nice through that performance. Once again, though, the side-by-side -side triple jumps. We'll see where they stand after the judges' marks in a moment. And beside them, Julie Marcotte and Richard Gauthier. They look Quite like a team. They were having a blast out there. This is a common mistake for Nadia here. She over-rotates the jump. Can't quite check out hard enough there on the landing. But this throw triple sow was a beauty. <laughs> and they really looked like they were having a blast. Now watch I love this. this exit. This is great. They call it a pen pendulum. 
and this invention is derived <laughs> from an accident, which <laughs> many original moves come out of accidents. They almost very, had very an close accident on here. these side by sides here. Oh, from there. <laughs> Julie and Richard Gauthier. It's amazing how our world also has Richard Gauthier now with a couple of highly ranked teams in the Canadian Thank skating her. world. Look Thank at the her. marks, Thank the required her. elements. Marks. As a matter of fact, Richard Gauthier has the top two teams right now. Saleh and Pelche in first. And this team currently in second at the Nationals. Well, two teams who train in Quebec are on top of the leaderboard right now. Here is another Quebec-based team, Valerie Sorette, Jean-Sébastien Fecteau. Look out for this team. They could be a dark horse here. They were third last year. And their third place finish last year meant they made the national team. They were sent to two different internationals where they finished fifth and sixth. Nice split on the double twist. Side by side, triple toe loops. So far, so good. The first team to land them so far. Finn's got a little off there, but they got back on in time to exit. They looked extreme. They look extremely focused and aggressive out here. which they take into a star and they take this straight into their throw triple sow cow no problem The dark horse may have just moved in front of the race. Sorette and Fecto. Their marks next. Richard Gauthier is getting a lot of airtime tonight. <laughs> the coach alongside Valerie Sorette and Jean Sebastian Fecto. Well, well. They were all business. Here's this look at the side-by-side -side triple jumps, with she, which she struggles with sometimes, but she nailed that. And look at her face. I was so impressed with her on warm-up because she was all business, very, very focused, and that is what it takes. Here's a look at their lift, and watch how they connect these two elements. She stays on the one foot, switches over, straight into the throw triple sow cow, which she lands cleanly. <laughs> They had an international Grand Prix assignment this past season in the Grand Prix series. Trophée La Ligue, they finished in sixth place, but what a boost it was for them a year ago in Hamilton to finish third and get a bronze medal. Now, how do they rank with Saleh and Pelche? It's going to be tight. I would go with Sorette and Fecteau because they had 
zero mistakes where Saleh Kalakie had a small error on the throw and a major error on the jump. And it is a very split panel, so Jamie Saleh and David Pelche still hang on. They're in first. Saret Fecto are second. And on the ice, Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, the defending champions. This is huge for them. They're ranked sixth in the world. However, they've had a very disappointing season so far. They've been fourth in both their internationals, and certainly they want the momentum to start here. and comfortable all week and the key to Christie's triple jump is that she keeps her knees working she tends to get a little bit stiff and she loses her rhythm they open here with the jump they do that her descent here so smooth her edge is so solid well they have had a difficult season to be sure but tonight in ottawa they skated like champions The best of the bunch so far. They'll be first when we come back. There are the defending Canadian champions, Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz. Last time they skated in Canada was Skate Canada. They weren't happy with their performance there. They have to be delighted in Ottawa tonight. And this is part of the reason they nailed the side-by-side -side jumps. And that got them off to a great start. They were so comfortable throughout the performance and look at the spectacular unison on these side by sides they're nice and close together their positions are very similar and the rotations are right on just what the judges are looking for that's world class now look at the comparison here comparison here on the twist if we stop it right there you see that david has stretched arms extended arms and chris does not so Jamie gets much higher on the Show twist. The toe, That's the, the clearly toe. the one element that the clean Pelletier and Sele had better here tonight. But overall, the performance here of Chris and Christie was the one of the night. Unanimous. Uh, you can gauge it by the judges' marks, which will be upcoming. And you can be guaranteed their first place marks. 
It is so refreshing to see this team skate so well because they had a great start to the season at Skate America and it just had a few too many bumps along the road to get here. These are nice marks here. What a way to start the defense of your national championship. Sergeant and Wirtz, the defending champions, are first. So after the short program, Christy and Chris are on top. Jamie Saleh and David Pelche, as we told you from the top of the show, battling right behind in second, although it's very close between them and the third place team, Sorette and Fecteau. Earlier in the evening, Jodine Higgins and Sean Rice used to skate in Cambridge, now skating in Florida. Look at this lift. Might have been the lift of the night. They call it a Floringo, an upside-down flamingo invented in Florida where they skate. They currently are in fifth. McAuliffe and Marcotte are fourth. And a look at the rest of the skaters in the pairs program here at the Bank of Montreal Canadian Championships. Caroline Massé skating alongside her partner. She's also a single skater this week. Don't forget, the pair's free skate is Saturday night. Let's join Tracy Wilson with the leaders. Thanks, Rod. Christy, Chris, are you relieved to have that over with? Yeah, it was, a, it was great fun, and uh, the relief to get the week started, and we're happy that it went so well. Chris just said to me, when you're happy and you feel good, you skate well, and you sure nailed the jumps tonight. Yeah, we've been skating good all week, and we, we feel happy, we feel um, content with our lives, so went well and uh, we're having fun. You're under a lot of pressure here, but you answered the call tonight. What is it in your attitude that is uh, allowing you to skate this well? Well, Christy and I have uh, accomplished a lot of things in our career, and uh, this week we said, you know, let's enjoy it. Let's have a memory for once. Let's put it as a memory that's happy. Skating is a part of our life that's got to be a happy part, so to turn around and do that and, and enter it the way we did we're really uh, pleased with the fact that we didn't put all this pressure on our shoulders well good luck keeping that attitude going for the long 